Well, that certainly is impressive. And I think you drew a pretty good picture for us to kind of put in our own mind what the system looks like and how it functions. And when we talk about systems, I mean, no matter what you're focusing in on, there always seems to be challenges. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about the challenges you had and how your company was able to overcome them. Yes, definitely there were some. CHP units really aren't unique or novel, uh, but this was a novel application of CHP units. So, you know, just like a dairy farm, these are our operations are 24-7. We receive milk and process milk uh, around the clock. And so we have that consistency, but we also have significant electricity and steam load changes throughout each day and seasonally as as we go up and down for cleaning cycles and then just the, the seasonal temperature variations, et cetera. We do have the ability to ramp each of these units up and down and we also have a bypass so we don't we don't generate more steam than we need but even with those design characteristics or attributes it's still really difficult for this type of equipment to run at its peak efficiency when loading fluctuates so you can kind of get back to the jet engine analogy ramping those up and down constantly would would definitely not be efficient uh, and then if you add a few systems on top of that from their primary purpose of propulsion uh, the, it adds a lot of complicating factors and that, all that is tied into our factors factory now with a pretty sophisticated control system. So it not only manages the turbines, but it also is integrated into the rest of the, of the utility system and parts of the process to maximize the efficiency. And that, that work took a lot of thinking and a lot of doing and, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of hard work on our folks there at the plant to be 